kind of just doing thematic stuff, just like, with such ease. So Marty, let's do a key change and get insane harmony. He's like, I'm gonna come to the dance now and actually shred with you guys. He hates that term. Listen. That that I, I didn't I I wasn't brought to tears listening to any of that stuff when I heard that solo that that was a was a religious experience. Well, the thing is, is, so you know we have an eight minute song here and it's six minutes of Marty doing like I mean, he has fast runs and stuff, but like it's 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 subdued yeah. by comparison. And then he's like, let's do a key change, and I'm just gonna go fucking Jekyll and Hyde on you. Why don't you just solo it? Because this is everything I love about Marty. Because it's it's cacophony. Like I'm, I mean that in the sense it's all over the place. It's it's like if you had the greatest figure skater doing insane shit, but it's like beautiful ballet. Yeah. Dancing on the fretboard. Yeah. That note. So people are like, do you like those fast notes? I love that. There's so much feeling in that bend and the way he's just hitting it. Even when he hits the pit to it, you're just, it's like, yeah. oh. A master class oh. in, you know, when to you know hold a note and let that note speak. It's, and, it's insane. And if you put it against a metronome, he's going in and out of uh, ahead and behind the beat, but it doesn't matter because if you're a jazz player, as Alex will tell you, Alex Skolnick, that is, you're either in or you're out. And with Marty Friedman, you're either in or you're out, and there's really no in between, and you just gotta follow. And we did, because he's a master class in what the fuck to do with the guitar. And when you see him play, it's, it's almost like you just wanna give up, because I don't even know how you'd play any of that properly and get it to sound so clean without any noise. And he just does, and you watch him play, and he picks all weird and all. Good for you, Marty. Yeah. Another note about that section too. In the background, you hear Siobhan going ham <laughs> with the string section. Um, it makes me think that we have to do mixes of just some of the instrumental stuff. I feel like we do have to do like a version of this with this. That gets to the end of the song, but yeah, so so the, just just in case uh, you know you're wondering, there's three tracks of orchestra here. One of them's you know a MIDI backing track that that Siobhan put together, and and, and Brian uh, did. Did Brian have any stuff on this one? Or do, I think because this is the key change time, so Siobhan might have done. I think this. Siobhan did. Um, so like this is kind of like the you know the full orchestra kind of buried a little bit low there. Like nice and soft. Phil, all this stuff is is Siobhan doing a hundred tracks of violin and sending them to me. This is Carol can't figure out what microphone she wants to use. <laughs> so I, I do sub mixes for all. I have, have a whole other session we can dive into another time with all Siobhan's crazy. But that that's probably forty 
50 violin parts stacked with multiple mics and I just bounce it all down because my computer could never and, handle it. And one that. thing I have to say about this song is as much as I love it, we did diminish our band a little bit in, in the sense because we had Nuno and Marty and Alex and it was for Ollie, we sort of stepped back in the sense that like, you don't see Siobhan a lot in the video. You don't see me or Corey or Paul that much. And that's because we really wanted to elevate those players. But so you understand, like a lot of the songs we record, like some of these strings and even like listening to this now, I'm like, I want to repurpose them as an intro. I want to yeah. use it with something else because she'll do these whole soundscapes that you don't and even need anything. Speaking else. of repurposing as an intro, if you listen to the beginning of uh, chapter three, the record before Denial of Anger, you hear this string part because we loved it so much. We're like, we got to use that for something else. So this is actually, you know, it's a little... It's just part of this massive mix on Take Another Piece, but it is isolated uh, and, and more featured in the beginning of the record. So there's trivia for the eight people. That yeah, and we did want to have like some themes going because the whole thing was kind of a giant homage to Ollie. And, you know, the first side of the record um, was the five stages of death and dying. And we kind of wanted, you know, not like Tommy or 2112, like we weren't trying to be pretentious or anything, but we wanted it to be one of those things where we hearken back to certain things. And again, when you have like Siobhan, who's one of the greatest violinists in the world, in our opinion, or at least my opinion, yeah. for sure, um, doing 40 tracks and then it's just covered up and you're just, it's just a soundscape underneath Marty Friedman and Nuno, you almost go, uh, you kind of need to do it by itself. So we did. It, it was that good. Yeah. And then we got this really cool outro, which is just kind of like the cinematic side of the band, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Russian here is really fucking cool too. I kind of like how the song starts from nothing and builds and then ends from nothing. So one of the things that we really, really were cognizant of, especially considering how many people were involved and how long this took to make, was trying to create a song that took you somewhere. And, you know, it goes from really broken down pianos to kind of building with the electronics and the, and the orchestra and, the, and Marty and Nuno and then gets that climax, sort of drops off and then builds back up with the key change, Bon Jovi style. And then again, you know, kind of almost decomposes back to just straight piano and, and the drums. That you yeah, have. and that's that's something we always try to do, especially like the last, you know, um, steps of finalizing the record. We'll get together and kind of go through and be like, all right, this this has been put together through sometimes years of chaos. You know, some of these tracks, especially, you know, this was a, a song from how long, like a decade ago. This 15, that was re 15 years yeah, ago. Re repurposed. Literally. And every song has some sort of story like that where it was either done once and redone or was done over you know a long period of time you know been through multiple studios you know started at ben's came here for mix sometimes sent to siobhan and back so there's a lot of like anarchy in the process that sometimes we have to get together at the end before we release and just kind of smooth things out figure out if we need to add an intro and outro we do the interludes to make sure that there's some sort of plan and some sort of like consistency cohesion yeah, yeah because that's i think that's important especially where we really focus on people listening through the record um, start to finish. We want to make sure that that's an enjoyable listen um, and, and that there's some sort of plan to, to, to kind of well, go Well, something that was also really cool was we got to build our skills on how to be like a COVID band before COVID even <laughs> right. happened. Yeah. So like, you know, there's a lot of people that have said, like, hey, you know, you don't get people in a room and you don't have that vibe or whatever, but we've been doing this. We've never met Kelly. Like, just so you <laughs> yeah. know, uh, yeah. we've never met him. Um, and he's in our band and we've done like three albums with him so far and it's not stopping. So this is one of those things where all of these songs were made at different times. They're all different compositions. And like really the job as like the production people and the, and the mixing people was how do we take these 10,000 puzzle pieces and put them together in a cohesive way with all these different players and bring them all. Like it's been a very hard thing to do. And this is one of those songs that there's probably 50 different bounces that we thought were maybe final before like and then we added a key change or moved this over yeah. here or wrote a whole separate part where we're like siobhan you gotta start over <laughs> so or we have in the case of Corey, hey man you got any drums from paul and a different you know yeah. and, and and i'm very proud of how this came out and i know that wherever ollie herbert is he likes this
I can say that. Like he he likes this, and and we we love it for him, and we couldn't be more thankful to everybody involved, from Alex to Marty to Nuno to Richard Shaw to everyone in the band to Brock Richards. Uh, truly, because um, you guys blew this up online, and um, we appreciate it, and we hope that you share it. But when you listen to it, just remember our friend Ollie Herbert from All That Remains, because. This was the last project he ever worked on, and uh, it's a supreme honor to be able to, you know, make this for him. Yeah, yeah, and this never would have happened without him. So this is, uh, we'll just play out the ending here again because it's so cool. And, uh, you know, thank you guys for checking this out. If you uh, if you dig this kind of content, make sure you let us know, you know, what we can do differently because we're trying to, you know, get more life out of these tracks because we put so much into them. And, and there's so, a lot in them. And, and if you guys have questions, I mean, it's one of those things like who played guitar solos? How'd you do that? Yeah. People have been asking us and messaging us like for now, literally years. So we figured we'd do this for each track and that you guys, you know, please like, subscribe, share. If you dig this, if you want to learn anything, if you have any questions, ask them below. And, um, you know, hopefully we can build something where you guys understand what we're doing and realize there's a lot of passion but just as much work put into this as the playing is intense. Yeah.